Jingle, jingle. All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Avatar The Last Airbender. I am Mike with Mike W Productions, as you probably know. And yes, we are coming up on the Northern Air Temple episode. This is a very interesting episode. I do remember it, but I still enjoy watching it. Uh, as you can might be able to see, I do have the Chronicles of Narnia over here. That is the BBC version. Uh, we may watch that uh, at some point. Uh, give myself a little bit of a break from Avatar. Um, there's only, uh, I think, like four stories in here. I know that the uh, Disney movies only got three movies. This one actually has four because you actually have, and there's actually more than that, but following the same group of kids, I believe there's four stories. So you have The Lion, the Witch, and the Wardrobe, uh, Prince Caspian, Voyager of the Dawn Treader, and uh, The Silver Chair, and those are all in this one. Uh, and that follows the main group of kids, and then you have, I believe, a few other ones, uh, like the Magician's Nephew and things like that, that aren't really... Um, a part of this group, but they're kind of prequel stuff. So, uh, and no one's ever, that I know of, really ever made those. I also have some of the 007 series that I have on DVD now. If you guys want me to watch those movies, I also have uh, Back to the Future, all three of those, if you guys want me to do those as well. So, I have a, quite a few movies. I know we're not really into the movies, but it's okay. Um, every once in a while, and for these guys, because they are a BBC series, I might cut them down into half-hour segments, just because I know each episode is about 45 to an hour long, and that's a bit much for us, because it is a TV show, and it's not a, um, like an actual TV show, it's a series, just like PBS, but instead of doing like an hour long, maybe we would just do like the first half, the back half, and then cut those into longer episodes is what I'm thinking. But let me know in the comments. I will continue doing Avatar um, for at least until we get to the Siege of the North. If we get a good boost in momentum, uh, I don't think that we're ever going to get as much as the All in the Family, but I do want to hit maybe around 100 uh, views an episode. If we do that in the next, uh, I think we have, let's see, like three or four more episodes, then sure, I'll jump back into it. If not, I may put it on the back burner, do a short series like this one, and then see how the videos are doing after that. But that's just uh, me thinking out loud here. So let me know what you guys think in the comments. With that being said, we are watching the Northern Air Temple episode. Again, I do know this one. Very fun episode. So without any further ado, let's jump right into it. Here we go. Avatar The Last Air Bender. This is, of course, book one, Water. Chapter 17, The Northern Air Temple. Oh, travelers. The next time you think you hear a strange, large bird talking... Campfire stories. A secret group of airwalkers who laugh at gravity. Okay, like him. Was it realistic? Is that how it was back then? I laugh at gravity all the time. <laughs> okay, fair. Jingle, jingle. Jingle, jingle. Sorry. <laughs> I'm poorer than you. It must have been a hundred years ago your great-grandpa met them. Great-grandpappy saw the airwalkers last week. Eh, <laughs> okay. So there might be some airbenders left. We heard they all went extinct. Genocide. Do you think we'll really find airbenders? You want me to be like you or totally honest? <laughs> Are you saying I'm a liar? I'm saying you're an optimist. Right. Same thing, basically. Hmm, not really, but, you know. Well, something's flying. Looks like biplanes. And they're not. Those guys are flying. Nope. Gliding maybe, but not flying. Yep. You can tell by the way they move. They're not airbending. Right. That's what I'm saying. A oh! little bit of a jerk flying so low to them, but hey, why not? Oh! Ow! 
Ouch. Show that ball kid how it's done! <laughs> so they're having a little flight fight. It's always surprising how the air temples always kind of look like um, Hogwarts. Which I do have that series too if you want me to watch it. Just let me know in the comments. I have all of the Harry Potter movies, so... <laughs> he made him pretty accurate. Hey, you're a real airbender. Yeah. You must be the Avatar. He's a genius. Oh, now we're going to go into the air temple. At least in this episode, we're making our way north, which is technically where we're supposed to be going. And there's a bunch of mechanical junk. This place is unbelievable. Yeah, it's great, isn't it? No, just unbelievable. Right. Aang used to come here a long time ago. I think he's a little shocked it's so different. Right. It's a temple. That would be like turning a church into this, basically. This is supposed to be the history of my people. Right. It's nice to see at least one part of the temple that isn't ruined. Look out! <laughs> wow. And I do know that some people live in churches, but different things for different people, I guess, eh? We have to make room for the bathhouse! <laughs> <laughs> wow. The monks? But you're 12. Right. <laughs> He's been frozen for a hundred and something years. A long time ago, but not a hundred years. <laughs> My people became refugees after a terrible flood. Okay, we dealt with the flood episode a few episodes back. They gave me an idea. Build a new life for my son in the air. Okay. Then everyone would be on equal ground, so to speak. <laughs> right of improving upon what's already here. And after all, isn't that what nature does? Nature knows where to stop. I yeah. Look at the time. Uh, Come. Candle time. Candle the clock. The candle will tell us. Watch. Five. Wait till you see my finger safe knife sharpener. Only took me three tries to get it right. Okay. Wow. <laughs> The temple might be different, but the creatures that live here are probably direct descendants of the ones that lived here a long time ago. Well, okay. This is the last part of the temple that's the same as it was. I want it to stay that way. Right. You can always close the door after you're done. Fireflies are a non-flammable light source. Okay. And why would you need a non-flammable light source? So you brought me all the way down here to see an empty room. Right. It's filled to the brim with natural gas. Okay. Unfortunately, I was carrying a torch at the time. <laughs> oh, so that's why his eyebrows are so weird. Thought my eyebrows would never grow back. Right. So this place is an explosion waiting to happen. Yes, until I figure out how to locate something I can't see, hear, smell, or touch. What we do is drop a uh, rotten smell, so it smells like rotting eggs. Sulfur. Are you ready? No! <laughs> but she jumped anyways. Just make sure you keep your mouth closed so you don't swallow a bug. <laughs> Unless you're Momo. Even though Teo's not an airbender, he really does have the spirit of one. Okay, that's at least decent of him. How do I land this thing? What if I land over... <laughs> <laughs> Should've kept your mouth closed. Oh, don't worry, that experiment's old. And that egg was just part of last week's lunch. Huh. Weak old egg smell. Quick, find that egg. <laughs> that's exactly what a uh, guest smells like now. How can something that's so small you can't even see it make such a big stink? Right. If we put a whole mess of rotten eggs in the cellar where the gas seeps up, the gas will mix with the smell of rotten eggs. Yep. Then you just follow your nose to the place where the smell is coming from. Like Toucan Sam. Just follow your nose! You're a genius! <laughs> uh oh. Looks like torture devices. Oh, Fire Nation. So it is torture devices. You're making weapons for the Fire Nation! 
Uh oh. It was about a year after we moved here. Fire Nation soldiers found our settlement. Okay. They were going to destroy everything. I pleaded with them. They asked what I had to offer. Right. I offered my services. Okay. I did this for you. Yeah, but you're still working for the bad guys. When are they coming? Soon. If I don't give them what they want, they will destroy this place. Right. Okay. The deal's off. The Avatar. There you go. Get out of here! Okay. Then the destruction of this temple will be on your head. Huh, okay. I would have closed it a little bit sooner, you know, popped them on the, on the head, but you know. How can we possibly keep them all away? We have something they don't. Air power. I want to help. Well. We finally got the war balloon working thanks to Sokka. Was you could get it airborne, but once you did, it just kept going. Right. The question became, how do you keep a lid on hot air? Right. If only we knew. <laughs> okay, that was funny. They're coming! Okay, so they got like a little fleet of flying guys. Why would you walk? Now you're gonna have to climb. Oh. Wow, they're like right there. A little bit of fireworks, okay. There you go. Give him a little avalanche to work with. We need more slime! Right. There you go, use an Appa and Momo. Ah. Oh boy, those are tanks. You can't break chains because they're metal. Oh boy, and they have backup chains. There you go. <laughs> well, he flipped them over. But they flipped themselves over. Great. I remember my dad tinkering with a counterbalancing system. Something to do with water. <laughs> water. Okay, well. You have to start really water bending. Appa to the rescue. Come on, Sokka. Where's that war balloon? There we go. The insignia! They think we're on their side. Right. Hey. <laughs> so because they have the little Fire Nation emblem on their thing, they think uh, that they're with them. Going the wrong way, though. You smell that? Rotten eggs! Yep. There! That's where the gas is escaping! Okay. It's the only bomb we've got! Okay. Boom. <laughs> wow. How did he know that that wouldn't blow up the entire place? We're going down! So they're falling with style. They're just falling. I realize it's like the hermit crab. Right. But you found this empty shell and made it your home. Exactly. As long as we've got the skies, we'll have the Fire Nation on the run! Right, but you guys didn't destroy that little balloon. Yep. This defeat is the gateway to many victories. Mm, okay, and that is it. Another one by Dave Filoni. So, let's talk about it. Alright guys, so that is Avatar The Last Airbender. The Northern Air Temple, that means that we are getting closer to our first destination, which is the Northern Water Temple, uh, to learn water bending from water bending masters. Aang, I believe, is technically a air bending master himself, so we don't need to find an air bender because, well, he is it. We need to find earth, air, uh, earth, water, and fire uh, next. So we have water, which I believe is coming up pretty soon. There are a few uh, things, uh, just three, three or four episodes left. We will take a little break uh, through this next month coming up. Uh, so just be aware of that because I just need to take a little break, catch up on my video making and make sure that these videos pass the copyright. So uh, all in all, a good episode. I don't think we really see these guys again. We may. I'm not sure. I can't remember. There are three seasons um, to this series and it's hard to remember every character and when they pop up. I do remember a few characters do pop up again, 
but these guys I am not completely sure. If they do, it's not for very long, I believe, but then again, I may be wrong. I haven't seen the series in a long time, and I'm pretty much watching it with you guys. So, with that being said, we only have a few more episodes in Season 1. If you guys want me to continue, go ahead and let me know in the comments. And um, if you guys want me to start another series, let me know as well. I want to do basically what you guys want to do. So, I do enjoy this series. I just know that sometimes, uh, algorithmically, maybe you guys don't. So, with that being said, uh, all in all, a great episode. I do want to thank you guys for hitting that little subscribe button. By the go, you know the you know the thing. And if you haven't already, go ahead and hit the little subscribe button. All you got to do is just tap it in. Just tap it in. If you like this video, go ahead and hit the little thumbs up button. If you don't, go ahead and hit the little thumbs down button. Nobody gets to see it anyways. I do want to thank my subscribers because we are growing the channel really good. My first goal is, as I've been saying, to get 500 subscribers, which would be really great because I get the community tab. And then, of course, the 1,000 subscriber, um, subscribers makes the channel monetized, and I actually get to pay, get paid to do this. So uh, we are more than halfway there on the watch hours, which I want to thank you guys Again, for keeping watching, uh, we are a little, we're at about 120 something uh, subscribers, so we need to uh, boost that. But there's really not much you can do beyond telling your mom, your mom's mom, your mom's friends, your mom's mom's friends, and uh, your father's brother's nephew's cousin's former roommate. You know, maybe your dad's and your dad's friends and all that. You know, tell everyone you know to watch the channel. But uh, beyond that, if you're not, uh, if you are subscribed, there's really not much you can do. But I do thank you for uh, hitting the little subscribe button. So, all in all, a great episode. So, with that being said, guys, um, we will be back. Uh, I believe next week. Uh, maybe the week after we'll see how many episodes we can get done and then the next month I'm taking a bit of a break to catch up get things past copyright and then we will be back the month after that so with that being said I do want to thank all of my subscribers I do want to thank you guys for getting in this far in the video and we will see you next time peace